So thank you, NSU students, for joining us today. Um, I'll be turning it over to our guest speaker uh, from Enterprise Holdings, going to be able to give an overview of the organization and give us an inside look at working for Enterprise. So Naomi. Hi, thank you guys so much for having me. I am super excited to talk about what Enterprise has to offer. Uh, first, uh, I want to just talk a little bit about our career paths and our company culture and what we're looking for. Um, but just to introduce myself, my name is Naomi. I'm a talent acquisitions manager here um, in South Florida. And um, we are, you know, currently looking for, you know, motivated, driven individuals to come join our team. But this is my contact information. I will put this up again towards the end and please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn as well. I also post our jobs there. <clears throat> um, so just to go over again what we're going to cover today, I'm just going to talk a little bit about the Enterprise Holdings um, Company, um, give you a brief overview about the management training program, which is our primary position that we hire college educated folks into. Um, and talk about that career path and then um, talk a little bit about my career path as well. So first things first, um, Enterprise Holdings is a global car rental company. We are in over 100 countries and we look to continue to grow that. And our essential goal is to be a global transportation company. So to be able to touch on all different areas of transportation at some point that the customer is going to need and be able to be there for them anytime they want that individual personal touch. Um, I work for Enterprise Holdings, which is the umbrella company that includes both Alamo National and Enterprise. Enterprise was founded in 1957 and we acquired Alamo and National um, back in 2007 and integrated them and then that's when Enterprise Holdings was born to be able to incorporate all of those, um, those companies and brands. <clears throat> Underneath uh, that Enterprise Holding umbrella includes obviously Enterprise Rent-A-Car. Um, most notably, I'll go through, we have an Enterprise Car Sales Department. Um, an enterprise exotics and an enterprise truck rental department. Um, those departments, uh, we have a promote from within culture, so you do have to get promoted into the other departments within our company. Um, initially though, anyone that starts in the management training program would start on the rental car side of our business. Alamo and National is our sister companies and they have different uh, kind of clientele, which I'll talk about here in just a moment, um, but Alamo, we decided to, uh, I'm sorry, in order to get uh, promoted into those areas, you also have to start in the trainee program and then work your way up to transition over into a management role with either Alamo or National. And then you'll see over on the side, it says Enterprise Fleet Management. They have their own IPO, num um, I'm sorry, not IPO, they have their own number um, and their own kind of tax ID. So they're kind of separate from Enterprise Holdings because their um, income is separate. But that is also an opportunity that you can get promoted into from going through the training program. So again, I was gonna to talk to you about our three brands. So we decided when we acquired Alamo National um, <clears throat> to keep those brands separate instead of integrating them into all enterprises. And the reason being is because their clientele and their reach was very different. So for national business travel is primarily what they focus in on that business traveler that travels all the time that just wants to come and go, wants very little touch with the actual person. Um, because they travel just so much, you know, pretty much daily or weekly, they're out on the road. And then Alamo is designed and geared to um, uh, uh, accommodate the leisure of the business traveler. So Alamo is actually the national car rental company for uh, Virgin Atlantic, as well as for Disney, because that is their main focus. And again, those two brands are more properly um, created and um, developed to be able to accommodate those two um, particular markets. Um, Enterprise is obviously the more um, touch friendly type of uh, location. Uh, we deal more with the, the, the local neighborhood, although we do have locations in the tourist areas. Majority of our locations are around the corner from where you might live. So that's more of a neighborhood brand. Uh, we deal primarily with folks that need rental cars, obviously on a day-to-day -day basis. So maybe for a weekend trip, maybe they need to get the vehicle replaced because their cars in the shop being repaired for body damage, mechanical damage, or it's um, more dealish, um, their insurance companies pay for them to get a vehicle until they get a new one. Um, we also deal with the local corporate traveler. So if someone lives around the corner and needs to take a quick business trip, <clears throat> but doesn't wanna drive all the way to the airport to do so, they can pick up a car from the local enterprise brand. 
Enterprise Holdings um, had a gross revenue of about 25.9 billion. Now, um, please keep in mind these numbers are based off of our fiscal year 2019. Our fiscal year starts every August. So it wasn't last fiscal year, but the fiscal year before that. Um, and fiscal year 19, we did gross 25.9 billion. Um, 10, we have over 10,000 um, fully staffed locations. Um, we are America's 13th largest um, company and we are one of the largest privately owned companies. We are in, like I said earlier, about 100 countries and we're looking to continue to grow that with our global marketing department. Um, and we have more than 2 million vehicles. Now, just to kind of update this, uh, since COVID, our fleet has dropped just a little bit. However, we still are the largest rental car company fleet-wise um, across the entire world. Um, we're probably just a little under 2 million now. We're probably closer to about um, 1.5 million. Um, we have about 100,000 employees and we're looking to continue to grow that, um, that are staffing our 10,000 locations. And we're also investment grade, which means that we have good credit as a business, just like individuals have to have a credit score. Businesses also have credit scores and we are currently in good standing, standing with a lot of our creditors. Uh, we are a good investment um, for them if we ever were to need to ask for money or to um, look for other investment opportunities, we would be considered a good investment. <clears throat> So we were founded back in 1957 by our founder, Jack Taylor, and he had started and he started this company with one simple goal. He wanted to take care of our customers and employees first, and he knew that growth and profits would follow later. Um, to this day, the company is still owned by the Taylor family. Unfortunately, Jack Taylor is no longer with us. Um, however, the company is currently run with our current CEO, um, Chrissy Taylor, who is the great granddaughter, um, not the great granddaughter, but the granddaughter of Jack Taylor. So let's talk a little bit about our talent statistics. So um, we have brought on board, um, again, fiscal year um, 2019, uh, we brought on board about 8,000 um, grads. We are actually the company that hires the most um, college educated folks um, per year um, into our company. Um, also that year, we hired about 1,900 management um, trainee interns. And um, the year after that, we hired a little over 2,000 in 2019. Um, now, our internship is a pipeline to the management training program, so if you do well in our internships, um, we could extend you an offer that you could then redeem upon graduation. Um, and it also mirrors the management training program, which means that um, if you are hired um, as a management trainee uh, intern, you'll be doing the same thing as our um, career management trainees. The only thing is, is that the pay and, um, is lower and you don't receive any benefits because you're a temporary part-time employee. Um, now with our internship, you do have to be at least two semesters away from graduation in order to be considered. So for example, um, when we start looking for interns for this coming spring 2021, you would need to be graduating by December of 2021 at the latest in order to be considered for that program. <clears throat> um, and just a little bit of a note, we do um, back in fiscal year 2019, we also hired about 16,000 um, we had about 16,000 internal moves and promotions. And with those moves, we were able to track it backwards to see that which e with each promotion and lateral move, that opened up more and more opportunity for us to create jobs within our company and externally um, outside to hire more management trainees into our program. So what is a management trainee? Um, the MT program is an entry level position with a direct career path into management. What you're gonna learn in the training program is a lot about sales and customer service. Um, we do teach a sales through service model. You would be working at one of our local branch locations. And the first thing you're gonna do is just learning how to do the actual job, how to interact with our customers, how to provide excellent customer service according to the enterprise model, and how to sell our products to where customers understand what's being offered to them and how it will enhance their, um, their experience and selling the features and the benefits according to their needs without being pushy or overbearing. You'll also learn about business development so you'll understand how we drive revenue and control costs. That's also where the financial analytics come in. There'll be different reports and things that we use that you'll be able to take a look at to be able to determine how um, to grow. Um, and you'll also learn management skills. So you'll also learn from your direct manager how um, they're responsible for teaching you and doing one-on-ones and developing their team and understanding how to do progressive discipline. So that's something you'll learn as well. And you'll understand our operational side. So how we um, control our fleet, how we do our business mix, how we maintain our fleet. 
And Enterprise is very much an entrepreneurial minded company. So although we're not a franchise, um, once you grow into a management op, um, position, you'll be able to have the opportunity to run a location like it is your own business, which means that you have a vested interest in the success of that location and you get a percentage of commission as a manager from the profitability of the location you manage. And like I mentioned several times, we do have that promote from within culture, which means all of our employees start as a management trainee and work their way up into a higher level management position or into other departments. Our business model is pretty simple. We hire smart, motivated individuals and we teach them how to run a business. Our goal is to have completely satisfied customers because it's been proven that those are the customers that return. Um, as we grow our business, more opportunities um, open up. Like I showed you before, we were able to promote and move people into different departments with the, which allowed for more opportunities for new um, promotions and for new employees. Your career advancement is also tied to our fleet growth and profitability, but most importantly, it's tied to customer service. So because customer service is our, you know, we live and breathe it and we want our employees to know that as well, it's important for you to provide excellent service so that that can continue to grow. So just to talk to you briefly, briefly about our career path, everyone um, within our company starts as a management trainee. Um, our training program is normally designed to last between six months and a year. And um, essentially, in order for you to transition out of the management training program, there's three main things you have to do. First thing is you have to be with us for a minimum of six months. The second thing is you have to um, complete a six month roadmap and take a computer based skills test. And the third thing is you have to meet our sa the sales goals and expectations we require for you. Um, if you could do those in the first six months, great, we can move you forward, but most people aren't able to do that in six months. So the six month is the minimum, but you're also required, you can also, um, if you take a little bit longer, that's fine as well. So most people on average end up um, transitioning out of the training program within eight to 10 months. Now, once you do meet those three um, criteria, then eligible to take our management qualification test. That is an interview style for our um, um, test where you sit down with four department um, heads and they basically grill you on different areas of the business so that if you were to get promoted, you'll know how to handle those situations. If you take that test and you pass, you're immediately promoted to management assistant level. Now, management assistants are not managers yet, but you are now eligible to start interviewing for first time assistant manager opportunities as they come available within your area. If you interview against your peers and you get it, you're then promoted to assistant manager. We would expect that you would work at anywhere from one to two locations as an assistant manager. So you start at a small office. If you do well and you perform, you can then get promoted to a bigger one and then so on and so forth. And then once we feel like you're ready and you have enough experience, you're then eligible to start interview for branch manager opportunities. And it's the same thing. You started a small location as a branch manager and then you can work your way up. The next level after branch manager would be area manager where you'll manage several branches, group rental manager where you rent, uh, manage several um, areas, regional vice president air, um, area where you would manage a region, um, and then obviously GM um, and VP where you would manage several regions. So you'd be managing um, a large array of areas. Um, so that is essentially the rental career path. However, you also have the option to move into other departments, but if you will notice, those departments do branch off from our branch manager level. Um, and that's where you'll be able to gain um, the opportunity to move into other departments if that's something that interests you. And those departments have their own career paths as well. So just to tell you a little bit about me, like I said, I am a talent manager. I used to work in Orlando, but now I work in South Florida. I started my career in Orlando about um, 10 years ago, and I started as a management trainee. I worked my way up to management. It took me about two years to become a branch manager, um, a little less than two years. Um, but it took me about two years to become a branch manager. I was a branch manager for about three and a half years um, before I decided to um, interview for an opportunity in talent acquisitions. I started off entry level as a talent acquisition specialist, um, got promoted to talent manager, and now I'm a regional talent acquisitions manager. I got promoted out here to South Florida last November. Um, so that's essentially what my career path looks like. I decided to move into talent acquisitions because um, I loved my job so much and I wanted the opportunity to share what I had gained and what I had learned in the management training, pro training program with others. And I also wanted to have um, an, an involvement in diversity and inclusion efforts within our company. Um, and I knew that we're moving into the HR arena would allow me the opportunity to do that. Um, so that's essentially what drives me to be successful in the career that I have today.
So I wanted to go ahead and put up my contact information as well um, and uh, kind of leave that with you. Um, and that's really all I have to share with you today. Um, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out to me via email or over the phone, or you can connect with me on LinkedIn. Thank you. Naomi, thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure having you. And uh, this recording is going to be added to our YouTube channel. Uh, but being able to hear from such a great partner and uh, an amazing brand that has so many <clears throat> for students and graduates. Uh, so thank you so much for your time today. No problem. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me.